Hello Virgo, how are you? It's me Lauren B with the Untitled Tarot back again. We are on a field trip. It is colder now than it was when I filmed Aries, but that's okay. I've put on a, a thicker sweatshirt. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's working, but we're here. We've committed like just like a Virgo would, right? So we're gonna do your weekly. Um, we're gonna do your basic instinct animal oracle spread that we've been doing with the wild unknown spirit animal oracle by kim kranz and then we're going to pull some advice for you at the end with the animal spirit oracle by colette baron reed so virgo i feel as though i have caught you um in the middle of a trigger moment which is interesting because it's not often that you see a virgo get triggered or at least that you see it it's a little bit under the cloak of night here but it seems like something has triggered you your first general energies that you have out you have out the raccoon right this is a very skillful resourceful adaptable energy and you have that out in reverse and then you have that followed up with the cobra again another very focused energy and in particular today i was so focused in on the eyes like they drew me in like i couldn't i was trying to focus on the other cards and i almost couldn't it's like you really have your eye on something and i was looking at all of this um this red this orange right all of this like this base this root in the sacral chakra energy and i just heard like flare up like something kind of like really like flared up for you like triggered you and you have followed out by this peacock i love the peacock energy this is beautiful air energy it's very um nine of pentacles for me um but this is a very um it's a very graceful it's very regal energy it also can be um prideful right it can it can be a little prideful so it's i'm looking at these and it seems as though something for you, Virgo, has has happened that has um, flared, flared or triggered up, I think, maybe a little bit of your shadow side. Yes. Um, and that is um, maybe coming off a little prideful. Like there's a little there's something going on here. And you have out next for your overall general energy. You have out the crow. Again, another beautiful air energy. So you really are focused like immensely in your thoughts right now but you're trying to use your intuition. This is what I see. So it seems like something's happening to you, Virgo, that has triggered your ego in some sense, right? Because this is, this is how it is on my board. On my board, it's on my picnic table. <laughs> but this peacock is like, it's turned back in, right? So something happened, something triggered you. We're gonna find out, hopefully. But it's um, got you really locked in with these eyes. Like you really got your eye on it. And with all of these other eyes, it seems like you're almost trying if you're really focused on something, but not just something, but you're like looking at it from like a lot of different angles, but it is flaring up like your ego a little bit, like a little bit of that pride. I am feeling that. And it seems like it's throwing you a little bit off your game with the raccoon and rivers. Cause like I said, this is a very resourceful, skillful, adaptable energy. But with the crow, it feels like because whatever this, it's like, it threw you off your game a little bit kind of flared up flared up your ego whatever you would normally do to soothe that or or to to remedy that or to fix that problem or find a solution or some some kind of way around it doesn't seem to be working or you can't use it here whatever that is which again might be flaring up your ego right because like all your normal tricks that up your sleeve like aren't working so you're going into your intuition virgo to find out what else to do so let's see what's in your environment what do you what are you so focused on? The fish. You're focused on a fish. Maybe it's the Pisces. Fish also, also represent flow. They represent abundance. They can represent money. It's water, so that's emotions, right? What else is in Virgo's environment, please? The frog in reverse. Oh, hold on. We have the frog in reverse. There's something underneath it, though. The nightingale in reverse. And the bat. Oh, and the earthworm. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Yelling at me. Okay, wow, this is a lot of cards in your environment. Okay, this is a lot of cards. You have six cards in your environment. All right, so, like I said, first out we have the fish. This is, you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is also about flow, abundance, money, emotions, right? You could also think of it as almost like a path or a journey, right? Nightingale spirit out next. This is very much about like your throat chakra, expression, singing your own song. This is in reverse. So somebody's little clams up over here. There's a frog. 
this is about purification this is about purging this is about cleansing right all of this beautiful look at that heart chakra right look this crown it's almost like um cleaning like purging from the inside out right instead of like taking a shower it's like a spiritual like inside out but there's not an expression about this and this is in reverse and then you have out the bat this is with this moon it's very much of like a moon card for me it's not about secrets what what you can see what you can't see being able it's a lot about this with this crow too it's a lot about intuition right being able to see a little bit in the dark you have the earthworm this is a lot about cycles a eh? it's also um earthworms also are like they can see in the dark because they bury underneath right and they take everything that's in the soil they absorb it and then they create nutrients with it right it's a very um recycling kind of energy and then this is the card they really demanded I, <laughs> I sat with them for a minute but they really wanted me to take this this is the dragonfly this is about surrender or not surrendering it's about um that's interesting the dragonfly is um <clears throat> truth transcends illusion but i wanted to say surrendering like but that's the moth spirit that's very interesting but this looks it's very interesting i know this is a dragonfly but they're, they're telling me that this is a moth on top of like your throat chakra so it's like surrender now it's like you're not surrendering somebody in the environment is not um especially with this nightingale spirit it's like not speaking their truth not speaking their truth in the environment which is probably why maybe like you're so focused on it because you're not getting with with all of this mystery right and there is there is this fish up right so like there is like a flow that is wanting to like occur especially with this earthworm it's almost like it's like a go around it's like a go around and i'm also feeling that with this moon like a go around a go around but the visuals are going in the opposite direction than the rest of this so it's like the flow is in opposition to secrets not purging and not expressing this crow is really calm calling my attention I'm just gonna say it but i'm very much drawn to this <clears throat> this orb underneath this crow and this orb underneath this fish it's almost like i want to go like this i want to go like this i want to go like this i don't know why but it's how i feel oh there's a buzzing oh it's getting interesting <laughs> okay let's go into your strengths and weaknesses because this is very interesting this environment is very it's like a like a like a cleansing and a refreshing or renewing is wanting to like occur but it's not so nobody's saying anything oh no 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 hold on oh is it just one card is it two the deer came out you're stressed oh please stop. hold on hold please Okay, I had to make sure it's the only card. Sorry. Sorry. Nature problems, you know. Bear girls can see me now. Mouse out on its side. Okay. Okay. Okay, Virgo. I see you. I see you. Yes. Yes. Good strength. Anything else? It's a good strength. I think that's it. Okay. So you have out the deer spirit in your strengths. This is a beautiful energy. It's gentle. It's graceful. It's a lot, it's a lot like this peacock in the sense it's like it's got a very regal sense to it, but it's very gentle. It can be a little easily startled. It can on the negative aspect, but this is coming through very much in the positive aspect. And there is a little bit of blue. So like there is a little bit of like throat chakra action. There is a little bit of like talking and speaking, but with all of this green, and all of this yellow, that solar and that heart chakra, it's saying that you really are trying to come from um, a heart space, right? Like a really good, warm, yummy heart space. And that is the strength of yours to come in like nice and gentle, right? And with the mouse, it's interesting, it came out on its side, upright. This is very much of a detail oriented energy, right? Very like, I, I almost want to say nitpicky, but that's not right. It's just like very like detail oriented. In reverse, it's often a little bit more of like a big picture kind of thinking. On its side, it's that's interesting. I've never really gotten it this way, but it's giving me that you're able to do both. 
you're able to kind of look at like the details and analyze them with as you're focused in like all crazy like right with all of your eyes so what, this is not so this is nine ten eleven <gasps> oh 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 i said that at ten ten oh okay there's a lot this has been a crazy week does anybody else feel the energy this week it is like bananas i know i have this weird curl i look like a part of the t-birds there's a lot going on for everyone but that's 11 Whew. oh my god i'm sweating now i'm now i'm not cold now i'm not cold <laughs> but this is a dream this is a really good strength virgo i would expect nothing less from a virgo because virgos are very like graceful they're really like like the ballerinas of the earth signs right it's really nice and there'd be the ability to look at a situation from both angles right the forest and the trees both i'm gonna look at your weaknesses not that not that virgos have many what are your weaknesses virgo <laughs> what did i oh my god it's so crazy okay this is a lot is this enough is that enough thank you i'm sorry okay i'm sorry thank you <laughs> this is just like all right oh my what did i say what did i say before moth what did i say okay oh okay hold on hold please hold please why why consult with spirit all right okay i'm gonna just you got four cards out i'm gonna just these, these two first of all so in this is your weaknesses so in your weaknesses you have the moth spirit at 11 33 as we were talking about before and this is a surrender now card right and then you got the lion spirit this is about strength bravery and you got it in reverse so what well, in your weakness is that whatever this is you're gay it seems like you're giving up or you're thinking about giving up something like that um you're focused so intently on it up here though so that's why it's interesting maybe you can't figure it out and so that's why you're like kind of giving up a little bit maybe but then you have two more cards out okay so then you have this beautiful air energy you have the firefly i love this energy so much this is such a great energy so it's interesting that you have it out in your weakness but the thing with the firefly it is it is small and it is so beautiful and it does burn so bright like it's special right it's really special but you don't have fireflies all season right like you only have them in the summer that's part of the reason not only that they're special is also because they're rare and you don't have them all the time right so that's also part of in the weaknesses is there's um a fleeting there's a fleetingness and but then next that you have the scorpion the scorpion energy and this is again this is a very focused energy just like you had up here with all, again all of that red and then all of that yellow all of that um that base and then all of that solar plexus these are things that make you it's like your vitality it's the things that make you feel safe it's also the things that like really spark you up you know and you have it in reverse right with this firefly and it's it's like it almost looks like a yin and a yang do you see it's almost, almost like an infinity symbol oh my god 13 13 what is going on this week there's some crazy shit going on this week so it's like in your weaknesses it's like i think that you think that whatever it is that you're focused on either you can't you cannot or you are not going to be able to figure it out or you just assume it's a fleeting thing like a like a shooting star i'm getting like a shooting star and so you're um like not focusing like you're losing passion for it or you're not focusing your passion or you're giving up your passion for it and so you're not and so you're just kind of like giving up and you're not being like brave about it but in your strengths you're like coming in gentle and you're looking at both sides of it but up here you have you have uh, there's a cobra staring at me for 14 minutes now so it's like this is a strength of yours but this is you are not a deer this is not even though it's earth energy this is not you you're you're coming through as this cobra he the cobra just looks he looks a little annoyed you might be a little annoyed too virgo honestly that might be part of like excuse me that kind of like flaring up your pride maybe you can't figure it out and so it's like hurting like like an ego bruise or something and so you're just like giving giving it up because because the lion universe can also be a bit of a prideful energy as well so the kids say so let's see what we should do moving forward virgo let's see what should we should we should do okay okay i 
anything else moving forward? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Is that enough? Are we done now? I gotta get advice for these people too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. The readings all week, y'all, have been nuts. They've been intense. Pisces was intense, and that was like, and, and Taurus was a little intense. But Aries and you guys, whoo, a Gemini? Forget about it. All right. <laughs> all right, Virgo. So here's how we should proceed moving forward, okay? Very interesting. You have the butterfly out in reverse. This is very much a card about transformation, right? You have that out in reverse. And then followed up, you have the elk. This is a very, um fatherly energy it's very patriarchal energy in like the best sense of the word right it's very um king of pentacles energy for me head of the household right and it does contain all of that red all that that base chakra and all of that solar too right but it's a little bit more contained and it's it's able to um like be expressed in different ways if that makes sense that's what they're gonna be expressed in different ways and they're giving something about hard hard but soft hard but soft i'm like with the antlers and then the fur i'm like not normally drawn to like the the texture that they drew on this card for for the fur of this elk but it's like something hard but soft and then you have the 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 emperor well you have the wolf card out this is my aries card again a lot of earth energy beautiful you do have so much of your own element in your reading which is amazing but you also do have a lot a lot of air the lot of air which is why you're a little bit up in your head and you have a lot of fire too which is why you're a little bit like but this is my, like my, this is my emperor card, right? What do emperors do? Emperors have seen some shit. They know how to deal with some shit. They plan, they conquer, right? Followed up by this vulture energy. This is again, this is a lot like the, um, where is it? Did we pull it out for you? Maybe we didn't, maybe we didn't. I've done, oh yes, we did the frog. It's uh, that cleansing energy. It's that purifying energy, right? Vultures come in and they clear everything up. So that way there can be a new cycle that comes in, eh? And then you have the bear energy out and you have it out in reverse. Again, more beautiful earth energy. What do bears do? They hibernate, right? So moving forward, Virgo, it looks like the advice is, is don't, this, this, the, moving forward, the situation is not going to transform on its own, is what I'm being told. It's not going to transform on its own. And so the advice moving forward is, if it's something that you really are focused on, that it's with this elk and this wolf, this is like an emperor and a king of pentacles energy. Like you kind of have to take control of this situation, right? Take control of this situation. Focus. Like you, you are very focused up here, but it's almost like your, your, your ego's bruised or there's something you're upset or you can't figure it out. So it's like just pissing you off, whatever it is. You're not gonna be able to come in like this. And this is a strength of yours, but this isn't really your true nature. So what you need to do is come in as your own element, the king of your own element, right? Because it's not going to transform in its own. So you need to take it by the range. You need to take control to come in and clean the situation up. And it's like, you got to come out of, you got to come out of hiding, I guess. It's like, you got to come out of hibernation. Like if this is something you want to explore, you're going to have to lead the pack is what they're giving me. I'm staring at this wolf. You're going to have to lead the pack. So, all right. You're a Virgo though. That's not a problem. Not a problem for Virgo. So let's get you a couple advice cards. And then we'll go send you to do your little cobra dance, right? All right, one more. It's funny to do it on big detail. Thank you, Spirit. Can we please have some advice for Virgo? Because they're going through it. <laughs> they're going through it right now. From, from nine different angles. Oh, 11 different angles. Can we have some advice for Virgo, please? No advice. I was like, what? Did I sum it up that well? No way. It's like, there's no shot. Aw, okay. Card number 40, mouse spirit, tend to the small things. 
right? It was interesting because you got that out too, right? So that's double confirmation that you do have the ability to look at big picture things and you do have the ability to look at the details. But this might be a situation because, you know, deers, like I said earlier, they can be like a little skittish. So there also might be a situation like you're coming in so gently that maybe you're coming off a little standoffish, right? And so maybe like dig a little deeper, right? Like tend to the small things. Something about like playful, playful, Peacock spear. Oh, look at this. Two. Look, two double confirmations. Love that. Look. Let it shine. Card number 46. That's a 10. That's completion. Let it shine. Look at that. Ooh. Let's see if you get one more. I just want to see if another I just want to see if a third double one comes out. Probably not. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it now. I know I am. It's fine. Like end the video, Lauren. I know. Oh no, look again. <laughs> Oh, no, we did not get this card. <laughs> we did not get this card. Oh, oh, but the deer spirit's on the bottom. Bring a gentle touch. Card number three, armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries, right? I think that has to do a lot with this vulture, like kind of clearing the air, clearing something up, right? Like expectations, like just kind of almost like ask what you want to know sort of thing. It's that kind of energy. This doesn't seem impossible. This seems doable, Virgo. I have faith in you. I believe in you. Always and forever. Thundercats ago, all right? Thank you so much for letting me do this for you. Thank you for letting me hop in your little energy field for a little while. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed it. All of my information should be in the description box. All the decks I use, um, the information for my Twitter. I do daily spreads um, for the collective. I do elemental spreads. I do pick a piles. I do all kinds of stuff over there. So if you want more of me, you can find me over there. Um, my email, for per all my sh all my stuff, all my things, all my info. You know, you know how it goes, Virgo. If you want to chit chat, do so in the comments. Thank you to all my new subscribers. That's so nice. You guys are so nice. Can't even take it. Oh my god, you guys are the best. I'll see you next week, Virgo. Hang tight. All right. Give them hell. I believe in you. Goodbye. <laughs>